Our dictionary is ordered in Python 3.6 plus. Dictionaries are insertion ordered as of Python 3.6. It is described as a Python implementation detail rather than a language feature. The documentation states, Dict now uses a compact representation pioneered by PyP. The memory usage of the new Dict is between 20% and 25% smaller compared to Python 3.5. Head 468, preserving the order of quarks in a function, is implemented by this. The order preserving aspect of this new implementation is considered an implementation detail and should not be relied upon. This may change in the future, but it is desired to have this new dict implementation in the language for a few releases before changing the language spec to mandate order, preserving semantics for all current and future Python implementations. This also helps preserve backwards compatibility with older versions of the language where random iteration order is still in effect, for example Python 3.5. Contributed by Inada Naoki in issue 27350. Idea originally suggested by Raymond Hettinger. How does the new dictionary implementation perform better than the older one while preserving element order? Update December 2017 Dicts retaining insertion order is guaranteed for Python 3.7. Our dictionaries ordered in Python 3.6 plus. They are insertion ordered one. As of Python 3.6, for the Python implementation of Python, dictionaries remember the order of items inserted. This is considered an implementation detail in Python 3.6, you need to use order edict if you want insertion ordering that's guaranteed across other implementations of Python, and other ordered behavior one. As of Python 3.7, this is a guaranteed language feature, not merely an implementation detail. From a Python dev message by GVR. Make it so. Dict keeps insertion order is the ruling. Thanks. This simply means that you can depend on it. Other implementations of Python must also offer an insertion ordered dictionary if they wish to be a conforming implementation of Python 3.7. How does the Python 3.6 dictionary implementation perform better too, than the older one while preserving element order? Essentially, by keeping two arrays. The first array, dk underscore entries, holds the entries, of type pydike key entry, for the dictionary in the order that they were inserted. Preserving order is achieved by this being an append-only array where new items are always inserted at the end, insertion order. The second, dk underscore indices, holds the indices for the dk underscore entries array, that is, values that indicate the position of the corresponding entry in dk underscore entries. This array acts as the hash table. When a key is hashed it leads to one of the indices stored in dk underscore indices and the corresponding entry is fetched by indexing dk underscore entries. Since only indices are kept, the type of this array depends on the overall size of the dictionary, ranging from type int 8 underscore t1 byte to int 32 underscore t slash int 64 underscore t 4 eighths bytes on 32 64 bit builds. In the previous implementation, a sparse array of type pi dike key entry and size dk underscore size had to be allocated, unfortunately, it also resulted in a lot of empty space since that array was not allowed to be more than two-thirds dk underscore size full for performance reasons. And the empty space still had pydite key entry size. This is not the case now since only the required entries are stored, those that have been inserted, and a sparse array of type int underscore t, 
X depending on dict size two thirds DK underscore sizes full is kept. The empty space changed from type pi dike key entry print underscore T. So, obviously, creating a sparse array of type pi dike key entry is much more memory demanding than a sparse array for storing ints. You can see the full conversation on Python dev regarding this feature if interested, it is a good read. In the original proposal made by Raymond Hettinger, a visualization of the data structures used can be seen which captures the gist of the idea. For example, the dictionary is currently stored as key hash, key, value. Instead, the data should be organized as follows. As you can visually now see, in the original proposal, a lot of space is essentially empty to reduce collisions and make lookups faster. With the new approach, you reduce the memory required by moving the sparseness where it's really required, in the indices. One, I say insertion ordered and not ordered since, with the existence of order edict, ordered suggests further behavior that the dict object doesn't provide. Order edicts are reversible, provide order sensitive methods and, mainly, provide an order sensitive equality tests, equals equals, not equal dot dicts currently don't offer any of those behaviors slash methods. 2. The new dictionary implementations performs better memory-wise by being designed more compactly, that's the main benefit here. Speed-wise, the difference isn't so drastic, there's places where the new dict might introduce slight regressions, key lookups, for example, while in others, iteration and resizing come to mind a performance boost should be present. Overall, the performance of the dictionary, especially in real-life situations, improves due to the compactness introduced. Below is answering the original first question. Should I use dict or order edict in Python 3.6? I think this sentence from the documentation is actually enough to answer your question. The order preserving aspect of this new implementation is considered an implementation detail and should not be relied upon. Dict is not explicitly meant to be an ordered collection, so if you want to stay consistent and not rely on the side effect of the new implementation you should stick with order edict. Make your code future proof smile. There's a debate about that here. Edit, Python 3.7 will keep this as a feature C. Update, Guido Van Rossum announced on the mailing list that as a Python 3.7 dix in all Python implementations must preserve insertion order. I wanted to add to the discussion above but don't have the reputation to comment. Python 3.8 includes the reversed function on dictionaries, removing another difference from order edict. Dict and dict views are now iterable in reversed insertion order using reversed. Contributed by Remy LaPere in PO 33462. See what's new in Python 3.8. I don't see any mention of the equality operator or other features of order edict so they are still not entirely the same. Thank <laughs> you.